Hello, my name is Ambrose. In today's online house Bible fellowship, we're going to look at how our bodies will look like when we receive our glorified body. For our body will be glorified before our rapture. Uh, uh, and uh, it's very important to know the difference between your current body and how it will look when God comes to rapture you. Uh, in, our, in our ministry, our prior goal is to win as many souls to Christ and to get many established in Christ, to get many saved before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ for His church. Glory to God. I'm going to read um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. Before then, some people believe in post-tribulation rapture, others believe in pre-trib, and some don't even believe in any uh, rapture. But the best place to always go to is the Word of God, not how we feel, not what we think, not our tradition, but the Word of God. There's rapture for the body of Christ, which is the church. The church is not the building. It's you, the believers, who have received the seal of the Holy Spirit that will be raptured before the tribulation, before the wrath of God is poured upon the earth. And uh, let us look at uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and I'm going to read verse 16. Say, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an, the archangel, and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. This is the principle of rapture, the doctrine of rapture in the Bible. So rapture, the word rapture itself is not in the Bible. Um, <laughs> the word Bible is not in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. However, rapture was a Latin word. The original Greek word that was translated to rapture is hapatsu, and the Latin version is rapture. That's where we got the word rapture. Because I've had some people ask me, Pastor Ambrose, we don't see the word rapture in the Bible. Show me rapture. Yes, you're right. The word rapture is not in the Bible, but it is the Latin translation of hapatsu, which is the Greek word. When you look at verse 17, it says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. When you look at that word caught up together, that is the Greek word that was translated to rapture. The Greek word is hapatsu. It means, the, you know, that is going to happen before the revealing of Christ. It means to be snatched away, to be taken away out of earth. So um, before you are, we are, are taken out of this earth, our body will be changed because flesh and blood cannot enter heaven. Flesh and blood cannot uh, inherit heaven. So when we look at what the scripture says right here, in Romans chapter 8, I'm going to read verse 30. Romans 8 30. It says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called, and whom he called, then he also justified, and whom he justified, then he also glorified. So we are looking at that word glorified. What does it mean to be glorified? When you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I'm going to read verse 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trump. For the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For the corru this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So that is the change that we will experience prior to rapture. The body that we have right now is a corruptible body and it's going to be changed to an incorruptible body. And that is what the Bible says. And that's what you as a believer that have the seal of the Holy Spirit should be expecting before rapture. So when you look at verse 52, it says in a moment, in the twinkle of one eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. So those who are already dead, they will have the, uh, the glorified body. And uh, those who are alive shall be changed. When you look at that word change, uh, the Greek word is metashematizo. Metashematizo will mean to change the figure of something. So this is your body that you look like right now. The body that is always sick and tired and hungry will be changed to a celestial body. So what will this body look like? That's what we want to examine. You know, when you look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 40, it said there are heavenly bodies and they are earthly. So right now we have earthly body, but our body will be changed to a heavenly body. That's the only way we can enter heaven. When you, you know, there are also celestial bodies. It says there are also celestial bodies 
and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. So we have different glory. We have different function that we can do with our heavenly bodies when we are changed to the heavenly body. The earthly, a few things that I put together, let's look at what the difference is. Number one, the earthly body gets sick. So that's why people get sick, they get tired, they get flu, they get whatever pain, they get any type of disease, they go to doctors. So the early body is, you know, is, gets sick. Early, early body, the early, with the early body, you, you, you have pain, you are worry, you fear, uh, you are weak. You see, you are limited by space and time. You are far from being perfect. And, and uh, you, you can be weakened through any immoral thing that you do. And the, the, the current body, the early body dies. Once it's has expired, it dies. It ceases to exist. But on the other hand, the glorified or celestial or heavenly bodies, on the other hand, is different. The cel uh, celestial body, terrestrial body, or the heavenly body does not get sick. The heavenly body will not die, never die. And that's why it's very important that you get saved. Because those who are not saved, they still will not die, but they will go to hell and they will burn forever. And um, the, the, the heavenly body that will get, will not get sick, will not be hungry, and you don't grow in corruption, and you cannot be defiled. You know, uh, so you get stronger, you be stronger than the earthly body. That's what you should be expecting And uh, before rapture. Let me read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50 says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, then that doth corruption inherit incorruption. So our body will be changed to an incorruptible body because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. When rapture comes, it's time for you to go to heaven because there's another assignment for you to do in heaven. And um, those who are the unbelieving, the unbelievers will be left behind. And in the second rapture, if they choose to come to Christ, they will be killed. Um, but they, however, they, are, they will be resurrected and go to heaven before the, uh, the day of the Lord, which will be uh, after the abomination of desolation. But that is not the subject of this video. Let's look at Luke chapter 20, verse 20, 34 to 36. It says, And Jesus answered said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, that's the world to come, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. So, um, in the time before you rapture, once your body is changed, you um, you will be your body will look like angels. So you won't be limited by time and space. You won't be tired. You won't be sick. And this is what will happen on this earth for those of us who will be alive before rapture. So uh, this is what is going to happen. And of course, with the glorified body, according to Jesus, there's no need for marriage. So <laughs> you don't have to worry about women wahala. <laughs> so uh, that's what the Bible says. So anyway. You have a perfect body. It tells us here that they are equal unto the angels. So you have a body that's like angel. Don't get sick. Don't get tired. You can go through the wall. You can appear in heaven and appear on the earth at the same time. You can appear in both heavenly realm, spiritual realm, and the physical realm. Glory to God. And you will never die again. You see, verse 36 of that same Luke 20. It says, neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. So uh, how does it apply to us? Why do we need to know this? Because uh, some people don't know why we keep preaching that you get saved. Because salvation is what guarantees you that your body will be changed before rapture. And for those who died before rapture, they will receive their glorified bodies in heaven. In, in, in Philippians chapter 3, I'm going to read verse 20. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. Say, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 21 says, Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working, whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Isn't that wonderful? Our body will not be like Jesus' glorified body. Wow, that is wonderful. And it's all according to God's plan. And it's Jesus that will do it. Glory to God. It says, according to the working, whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. So Jesus is the one that will change our bodies before rapture so this is according to the bible jesus is the only one with the glorified body in heaven right now so we the believers are going to be trans transformed our body will be changed to glorified body to be like jesus's body 
That's what the Bible says. So get saved. Get saved now. Hallelujah. If you're not yet saved. If you are saved, look on to uh, the blessed hope. Then, uh, <clears throat> see, Jesus got the glorified body when he was raised from the dead and ascended into heaven. While he was on earth, he didn't have the glorified body. But after he resurrected, he got the glorified body. That was why he was able to enter the heaven. The dead in Christ will be transformed at rapture time also. So those who are dead already will be transformed. When you look at verse 21 of Philippians chapter 3, it says, Who shall change our vile body? That word change, the Greek word is matashematizo. Matashematizo, it means to change the figure of something. So our body will be changed. Be, oh, I'm looking forward to that glorious day. So uh, just look at how Jesus looks right now in heaven. That's how your body is going to look like, you that you are saved. Watching me today. Isn't that wonderful? I think that is a wonderful. My goodness. You also look like angels. You have the angelic body. You will no longer be limited by space or time. You will have a physical body that can interact with spiritual realm and the physical realm. Why? That is what I call super body. Look at John chapter 20 verse 19. It said, Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace unto you. In other words, Jesus went through the door. He went through the wall. The door was shut. He didn't go through the door, but he was able to, oh my goodness, go through the wall and to minister to the apostles. And that's how you're going to look like when you are changed. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 24, verse 36, it says, And as they thus speak, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold, my hands, my feet, that is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit had not flesh and bones, as you see me have they, though he was like a ghost. So they thought he was, they thought he was like a ghost. They thought he was a ghost. But Jesus was able to appear to the apostles and keep ministering to him. So in your glorified body, you still be able to minister to people and get people saved and tell them about Jesus before you are raptured. Wonderful. In Luke chapter 20, Luke 24, 36, and as they spoke. Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you, but they were terrified. Yeah, that's the one I just read. See? So Jesus appeared unto them without warning. So in your glorified body, you are no longer limited by space and time. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 6, it says, After that, he was seen above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto the present, but some are fallen asleep. So what does that mean? That means you can appear to like 500 or 1,000 people at once. One in one place, so it can appear. Over. So a body is going to be able to go through space and appear to people, and people will see that it's time for you to res- to leave. To, to leave. But those who are not born again, they will see and witness the res- the uh, rapture of the believers. So uh, you'll be able to <laughs> appear to people in different places without using Zoom or Facebook Live or YouTube Live. They'll be able to see you at once. That is wonderful. That is what's going to happen when you get your glorified body. So so Jesus was able to look however he wants and look just by thought. He can also do anything he wants just by thought. So once you, when you look at um, the story of the people on the way to Emmaus, Jesus, you know, um, took a shape that he wanted to look like. At first, they couldn't recognize him until he now transformed to look like uh, who he was. So you can be like a Chinese, you can be like an American, you can be like a, a white man, you can be a black man or woman, whatever you want, just by your thoughts. That is the power of the glorified body. Glory to God. Are you looking forward to that day? I am looking forward to that day. You know, um, if you're watching today, you're not yet saved. You cannot get the glorified body. You'll be left behind. And uh, if you choose to come to Christ after rapture, yes, you can still come, but it's going to be very costly. And you're going to have to pay with your life because you will be killed by the earth dwellers, the hallowed system and the uh, mystery Babylon. They will kill those who come to Christ. And once they die, yes, they will resurrect to go to heaven, but it's going to be through pain and torture. Why do you want to wait it there? And if you are watching me, you are not saved. Let me give you this verse. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Beloved, now are we, it says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had he, this hope in him, purify him even as he is pure. Wonderful. Wow. He said, when Jesus appears, we shall be like him. That's what he says. So you shall be like him once your body is changed to your glorified body. Yes, this is a promise for those who are saved. And it's about to happen. 
before rapture. So get ready. If you are not saved, come to God today. Get saved. Uh, it's very simple to get saved. God has made it so easy. I'm going to put the ABCs of salvation in the comment section below. And your part is to believe. Only believe. Once you hear the gospel, say it to God with a believing heart. And the Holy Spirit will come and seal you. That's how easy it is to get saved. And you will be glorified before you are raptured. So, um, <laughs> to get saved is not by somebody say repeat after me. I used to do that many years ago. You don't get saved by repeating confession prayer or praying to get saved or water baptism. All you need to do is to believe with a believing heart. When you look at 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 to 4, it tells you what in your role is to believe on what Jesus did. It's about the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. So come today to God the right way. Get saved and look forward to your glorified bodies. Anyway, this has been Pastor Ambrose. Um, remember that I always love you. But Jesus made it possible for you to escape the wrath to come. He's going to change your body to a glorified body that never gets sick, never gets hungry, never see pain or sorrow or sad or fear. So look unto him. That's our blessed hope. So come to God to get there the right way, get saved. Remember, I always love you. But Jesus made it possible for you to get this glorified body. I love you most. I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, remain blessed. Bye-bye.